Well, welcome to a Soyuz Home Hardware. This is a painting that we had done by a local artist. This is downtown Asuyus, 1946. This hardware store has been on the corner of Main Street since 1942. In 1955, the Fairweather family bought the two lots next door and expanded. It's obvious where this division is because this train that we've got going around the front of the store is actually going through the windows that belong to the old building. Welcome to the old hardware store. So back here was the ski shop that the Fairweathers had uh, as they were one of the first owners of Mount Baldy. Now our tool shed. And this used to be the garage. Our wonderful customers are bringing us in all these antique tools now that they bought here from the early 40s. So I guess you might say we're part hardware and part museum. That in every nook and cranny, you're gonna see something different. As a matter of fact, we have a beautiful saw up there that was given to us by Jack Rogers and it actually built the first motel in town. So first skis that went down Mount Baldy, we're pretty proud that our customers think enough about the store as being such a big integral part of the community that they are actually sharing with us some of their treasures. We purchased the store in 1985, but it wasn't until we bought the building in 2006 that we discovered all the hidden treasures we had here. We decided that we were going to unrenovate. We literally took down suspended ceilings, tried to restore the old floor, and wanted to show some of the history. When we unrenovated, all of these beautiful beams were actually hidden. In the 50s and 60s, they wanted to modernize, so they hid all the beauty, in a sense. That's the original structure of the building, but they're literally stacked on top of each other. In 1955, when the Fairweathers decided to expand, they actually went up to an old gold mine near Mount Baldy called Camp McKinney. Brought everything down, had no idea where they were gonna put it, one of my favorite treasures is the holding cell door that was brought down. It's now our furnace room. And of course, we've got shoplifters, beware. This original door from Camp McKinney was also hauled down. It wasn't a standard size, so they just put blocks around it to make everything fit. This beam kind of gives you an idea of the sturdiness of, of the lumber. I mean, you just don't see beams like this anymore. And again, we wanted to expose that, so we did remove everything so that we could share the history of the business and how it was built. We made sure that we exposed all of the beams and we wanted to expand the store and every time we've expanded this store, we've ended up with a nook or a cranny or a set of stairs. The basement really wasn't used for retail at that time. Uh, this used to be a Soyuz hardware and lumber, so the basement was all lumber. It had glass cutting, it had tin making, but we wanted to connect the two so we hired someone to come and cut through the cement wall. And lo and behold, it was kind of like cutting through Fort Knox. We discovered square rebar, petrified wood, and because it was so heavy and so well made, we couldn't even take the piece out. We literally dropped it on the ground and we're now using it for display. We tried everything, but we felt it was more important to keep it. All of these cubicles used to hold drywall and lumber and the big trucks would drive down the ramp, load up, but we have turned them into some of our best displays in the whole store and we kind of take pride because they do change with the seasons. So this is the ramp that the lumber and the delivery trucks used to come down. Right now we call it one of our special treasures and because it's so seasonal it, it's always a great display. We're continually changing this area. At one time, there was just a small door letting people come down to the basement. 
but we really wanted to widen it to invite people down. The upper level actually used to be offices, but we've kind of turned it into a shopping haven for kids and parents alike. We thought we could just extend the store, but because of those lumber trucks having to go down the ramp, at the back door, of course, is a huge door. And we had to make sure that we raised the floor so that the door could open and close so once again, nook, cranny, and stairs. We were told so many times that no one could be successful in a building that has five sets of stairs. We like to think that maybe we could prove them wrong. So we really worked hard at making each level interesting, exciting, and also that it retains the history and just really what a bricks and mortar in a downtown store should be to a community. That really is a throwback to the way it was. And as you can see by walking through the store, we have literally used every inch of space. We like to say that we sell by the cubic foot because when you come into this store, you have to look up, you have to look around, you have to look behind. It's the team, it's the staff and my family that I'm very proud to be part of this business with that have made this store into a destination store. And uh, we hope that you enjoy it as much as we do because it continually changes. You gotta keep coming back. <laughs>